Rafi Dane Bank confirmed, on Friday, its keenness to educate its customers and the public about sound practices in using electronic services in general, and to direct the customer to take caution and care, to ward off the risks that may result from any attempts to access the customer's personal and financial information, through electronic fraud, telephone fraud, viruses, and spyware, and identity theft. In a statement today, Rafi Dane Bank recommended its customers to adhere to the following guidelines, avoid easy knowledge of the password, keep it confidential, avoid using common and well-known passwords that are easy to guess, and change them periodically. The bank advised its customers for their security and safety to refrain from using known information such as date of birth, phone number, or any easily recognizable part of the customer's name as a password. The bank's statement urged customers to avoid disclosing their password and personal data, and to maintain the confidentiality of their salary card number master or visa card, internet banking and mobile banking application, and not to disclose them even to bank employees, stressing that the customer's information and data, whether domiciled in his salary or otherwise, should be updated whenever there is a change through the branches. The bank directed its customers to continuously check your account movements via account statement, movements in the phone application, and if you have any doubts about any of them, visit your branch or the Banking Awareness and Public Protection Department in the bank's general management. The statement gave examples of fraudulent messages, these messages are sent to you by someone impersonating an employee at the bank you deal with who sends you messages asking you for information about your bank account or credit card under the pretext of verifying their numbers. Fraud by tricking your account into browsing. The bank explained that many users were trapped on social networks through the trick of find out who browsed your Facebook account or any other social network. Prize winning messages. The bank noted that such messages claim that you have won valuable prizes or a trip to a certain country and the sender of the message asks you to pay a certain amount to receive your prize. Never do that. Fundraising Fraud The statement stressed that they collect money in a deceptive manner, as these fraudsters publish fake stories about a patient's need for treatment, a poor family, or others, and ask for donations from social media users. Online Job Postings The bank said, if you apply for a job online, you will definitely be asked to fill out an application form. You can do that, but be careful not to write down your bank account number and credit card. Tips to protect yourself from fraud attempts The bank addressed customers, saying, Do not interact with people who ask you to pay a small amount of money to get a prize, gift, or other offers. The statement continued. You do not agree to transfer a conversation with a specific person outside of social networks, such as communicating via WhatsApp or providing that person's email address. The bank called on customers to verify the identity of people who message them due to an emergency, claiming to be their friends or relatives, warning that messages that contain spelling and grammatical errors are always suspect and you should be careful of them. The bank also said in its recommendations to customers and clients, if you want to provide assistance or help, do so through official and trusted sources, stressing that do not trust pages that represent large companies or public figures that you have not verified. He also continued, do not trust any social media pages that claim to make you a quick profit through the internet or working from home stressing that do not click on links that you receive via WhatsApp or social networks or those that are published in comments. The bank urged customers to take precautions and be careful to avoid falling victim to criminal methods that aim to defraud citizens and steal their money by having people impersonate employees working in financial institutions, international institutions, or private companies, and then do the following, communicating with customers via social media Facebook, INSTagram, WhatsApp under the pretext of providing financial assistance, prizes, or monthly salaries for a specific period, in exchange. 
for obtaining the customer's personal information, data, and a picture of the bank card granted to him, the secret number, and the OTP verification code. Use the data and information necessary to create accounts in the name of customers, modify their account data, update their data, or request the number that will be sent to you via SMS, and then carry out electronic transfer operations for the purposes of paying bills and purchases, charging mobile phone balances, or making electronic financial transfers to other persons. Communicating with the beneficiaries of the money transfers under the pretext that they were executed in their favor by mistake, and then asking them to reverse the amount by transferring it to a specific account or charging a specific phone balance.